Hi everybody, Tina here with Two Chicks and a Cricket, and it's Saturday. Last night was my Pink Stamper blog hop, and she also did a live chat, and it was so much fun. It's the first one that I've really been been a part of, like, start to finish, like, the live chat part, or the live, it was like a live video. And it was so fun. Wendy was at home and she logged on and was a part of it. And then Robin had been eating chips and salsa and talking about it. And that is a total Wendy and I thing. Like when we scrapbook, we totally eat chips and salsa. And so she ran down to the Mexican restaurant that is here where we live and got chips and salsa and came to my house. And then we finished out the blog hop together um, here at my house. But it was so much fun. And um, Robin was nice enough to mention us on her blog thing last night, letting letting everybody know that we're um, giving away two of her stamps sets. So for yesterday's giveaway, we're giving away these two stamp sets that she sent us. Thank you so much, Robin. We so much appreciate you sending these to us to give away. So we're going to be giving these away. Itty Bitty Licious, which is one that I have and I love. There's tons of them and they're super cute. Happy retirement. Happy birthday. It's your day. I love the one that says best friends. And there's also one that says, like, praying for you, you're so special, sealed with a kiss. And then also sport, um, sportastic. So this would be cute if you had um, kids or something in sports. So don't leave, a, don't leave a comment on this video. This video, I'm just showing you what I'm going to do for the hop. So she had a hop last night, and she had a challenge. And the challenge was to do something green with a Cricut cartridge and one of her stamp sets. So I'm going to cover this box. These you can get through Stampin' Up. And they're $2.95 for, I think, four of them. And tomorrow, um, well, tonight, because I'm posting this on Saturday, tonight is our stamp club meeting and I'm ordering like 30 of these and I'm going to cover these for my husband's work. For Instead of goodie bags, I wanted to do something different. So I'm going to be using... A child's year and it has a really cute little four-leaf clover and then I'm gonna be using my pink stamper happiest moments and it has a happy st. Patrick's Day which I love so I'm gonna be using that and then this paper so when I come back um, I'll show you what I've done I'm just gonna make this really really quick so to win those two stamp sets on yesterday's post, Friday's post, you can leave a comment and then also on the video um, for Friday, leave a comment. Do not leave a comment on today's video or today's post to win those two stamp sets because you won't be entered, okay? So when I come back, I'll show you guys what I've done. Okay, everybody. So I have my box and I'm going to do this super simple because I'm going to have like 30 of these to cover. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some candies inside of it. So it's a pretty good size box. So what I did is I just, I started with, this is a two inch strip of this polka dot. And as you can see, it covers quite a bit of my box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ATG gun. Let me set all this other stuff aside. And this is the front opens like that so what I want to do is I want to start on the side right here and this is how I decided to go ahead and measure it so I want the sides and the front to be completely covered okay so what I'm gonna do is I measured the back of it and I have this little strip And I'm going to stick that right on there.
Okay, then same thing with my strip. Okay, everybody, I'm back, and my box is covered. The back is, um, because it doesn't really reach the paper, so it's a little funky in the back, but it's okay. So I'm going to do the top now. So what I have is I've just taken, um, I actually cut it, let's just put a little more adhesive on this flap. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this, it just happened to be three and a quarter. So this is a three and a quarter by three and a quarter square. And then this is a very vanilla piece of Stampin' Up! cardstock, and it is three by three. And what I'm going to do is I have my Happy St. Patrick's Day from my pink stampers. And I just have some green ink. On there. And then I have my two um, four-leaf clovers. And I'm going to put them just like that. But how I'm going to attach them, I'm going to do something fun that uh, I kind of got this idea from the blog hop last night. Somebody had used some buttons in the middle. And I was thinking that maybe it would be cute to use some white brads. That might be too big, but I think maybe I'll go with it. So before I attach this to my box, I'm going to poke a hole right there in the middle. It just seemed like a fun way to, so I'll definitely need a smaller one for that. I don't think I have any white small brads. It's like the only color I don't have. I have white small hearts, but that's not going to work. So I'm just going to use some, I'll use a pop dot and pop this one up. See, I wasn't quite sure exactly what I was going to do when I sat down. My other ones for my 30, uh, I have 29 more of these to do. I'll probably just do something more simple. And I'll probably just ha like glue them down. But that's super cute, right? Let's zoom in. And then let's take the white gel pen and add... Okay. okay. 
All right. So there it is. I think it turned out super cute. So and then I'll put candy in them. So thank you guys for stopping by the blog. And I had so much fun last week giving everything away. I'll choose winners this next week sometime and get them posted by the weekend. And as always, thank you guys so much for making our blog such a fun place to be. So I will see you guys later.